Well, we've been here about 10 years, and I've been chasing hot water for a long time because I know all the wonderful things it can do. Here, what we have is called an artesian well. So our, we have a well that's under quite a bit of pressure so we don't have to pump it. And it serves all of our heating needs here. Um, just as important as that is the cold water that also comes under pressure that hasn't seen the light of day in a couple hundred years. And it's under pressure through a gravity head. It's a neighborhood water system in the Miracle Mile here. And we do all of our cooling with the cold water as well as all our other water needs. And so do you heat the greenhouses themselves? Because that's what Darcy told me was that you guys actually heat the soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so is it the soil, Drew, or is it just like a heater with a fan? Um, I'm not sure now, because I used to think it was just a heater with a fan, but then yesterday I stuck that fork into the aisle. So yeah, this is our fig tree, cactus garden, um, so all kinds of stuff, soil I block station. So this is spring water that's a UV filtered. Um, this washer machine is our salad spinner. <laughs> so we wash everything in our sinks and then put it in here on the spin cycle to, to dry it off and then weigh it there and bag it up. So this is kind of our workstation when we're um, doing CSA. So these are pretty substantial greenhouses and it's obvious there's been a lot of time and money and effort spent. Yeah. How did this all start as far as, was it James totally independently wealthy decided to do this or he started with the garden and paid for everything and now he has enough of a business that he can keep doing the greenhouses and the infrastructure. So um, okay. some of this is from grants some of it is help from others and some of it is just dreaming and vision and hard work <laughs> so this is uh, what we call the catwalk we haven't cut the leaves back in a while but you can go all the way up there and then you can walk the length of the greenhouse flower. is that what it is yeah so here's the flower but i never knew the whole thing about like the little droplets of sweet nectar or I don't know what oh. it is that like drips down it. Really? Yeah, and James is saying that these leaves right here will yeah. fall down uh -huh. and then like they're kind of bowl shaped and then all that nectar will collect down below and you can go through the jungle and pick those up and take what? awesome Really? Drinks oh my gosh, that's amazing. Right? That is so neat. So cool. So the banana tree is actually not a tree. It's a uh, it grows like a, it's a monocot, so it grows just like grass does. So it just sends up shoots and it'll just keep spreading and spreading. So you can um, see there's like a lot of little shovel? ones right here. I, help Daddy. Uh, I think your shovel is, it should be over there somewhere. You want to find it? Mm -hmm. Where do you I help Dad. Do you want to go up here? <laughs> it's not sketchy if you just go up to the top. Did you want to go in front then? Yeah. Since you're holding the camera. Oops, sorry, Vanilla. No, you're good. There you go. Alright, so just I would say maybe last week I was able to come up here. There were no leaves in the way. Holy cow, so they grow fast. They grow so fast. And you could just, like, if you want to, I don't know, there's spider webs and stuff, but a lot of times they'll, I think in the winter time, this is where they um, start the seeds. So they uh -huh. have boards, like right there. Um, and then they'll, you can go all the way down. There's oh, even cool. some flats you can still see. Be, so does the banana kind of die back in the winter? No, we have to cut it. We just cut the leaves, I think, because it's heated and it stays humid in here, that it's, it's fine. So you start your seeds, like your seed trays up here? Yeah. And it stays warm enough?
safety of it. This is so brilliant to put your seeds up here. Yeah. And I think we also do a lot of microgreens and stuff too, um, which I can show you. And I think in the winter time, this will be a good spot for those. Vanilla, you can uh, you can hang out with me. That's cool. But and I'm gonna you come down. Did the new banana flower? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Is that the purple one? Some... Yeah. Man, this okay. We need to cut back this banana. <laughs> it's like impossible to walk up there. Did you lick the banana leaf? It's no? beautiful. Are you supposed to lick it? Come here. I smelled it and I thought it smelled weird. I don't want to know if I want to lick it. It's so good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Just like the sweet food. I will trust you, husband. Should I trust you or should I totally it? trust me? James is telling us that oh, the, when the leaves thing. fall off, they he said due to aerodynamics they fall and float upside down. Yeah. And then if there's a bunch of these petals that fall, they all act as like little boats and mm -hmm. catch the sugar. Uh, dripping so down, like and so yeah, lick this part right here. Oh, okay. It's just like straight sugar. Okay. Oh wow, that's super good. Isn't that good? Really? Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> and then you can see it kind of dripping down oh, from right here. I didn't so see that. You just get a little finger of it. Wow. Mm. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. It gets all sticky on your arm if you don't. Okay, like, I was wondering it. because I I felt that and I thought it was from the tobacco plant and I, uh, I thought I wasn't working with the tobacco at all today, so I don't know how I got all sticky. But I was working yeah. in this area. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that's where it's from. Here's a farm cat, Julius. He's a he's our mouse control somehow. Next door they have greenhouses that are about this size, and they have uh, 40 year old grapefruit trees, orange trees, lime, lemon, fig. Um, do you think they'd be willing for they've me to got come see them? Everything. Here? Yeah, I think. Oh uh, well, I don't know. I'd have to text. I could text them and see. If we could, or even I'm I'm on my way up to. Um, Needs. <clears throat> um, so, the way we use all the water, yeah. I mean, this is kind of like a, uh, like a. It's kind of like a dream for someone who likes to play around with systems fits really well into a lot of the permaculture um, visions of trying to have, you know, trying to utilize what's here and uh, have kind of a closed loop system. So, yeah, I mean, I could, I could go on and on. The, the uh, financing here, um, that, that's been a long story. And uh, currently we have no mortgage on the property and we feel very lucky about that because this wouldn't work otherwise and uh, certainly one of the things we do is train people to um, we we try to train people to go out into the world and do this kind of thing so part of the vision here is food production the other half of the vision is education and being able to empower people with the confidence and the tools and the understandings to go out and um, do this kind of lifestyle. We, <clears throat> we are currently in negotiations on the property next door to expand what, what we're doing on the food and the education side of things.